Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bingsy here, and today I'm bringing you episode 6, I do believe, correct me if I'm wrong, of uh, Road to the Perfect Squad. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this series, be sure to pause the video and check out the rules. And uh, I've got to say it, guys, thank you so much for the support on yesterday's video. That is easily the best video like I've uploaded and had so much support so quick. It had 5 likes in under 4 hours. And I said in the video, if I get 5 likes, I'll double upload on Friday. So you guys must have wanted to see that because you smashed the likes on that video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be double uploading on Friday. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to stay up to date with that. But without rambling on anymore, guys, let's jump in to today's episode. So guys, the price ranges for today's episode is a 10,000 coin minimum and a 25,000 coin maximum by now. As you can see, there was a lot of informed. But I actually ended up going with Urzil. Haven't used him this year. He just looks amazing. And honestly, guys, I thought he was around 100,000 coins. And it turns out he's like 20,000 coins, which is just a bargain in my opinion. So I'm going to go pick him up, go and put him into a team. And I'll be back with you guys there. So guys, I've picked up Urzil. Here's where we're going to be playing him in the 4-3-3 fourth variation. We paid 19,250 coins for him, which is just insane for someone as good as Urzil. I mean, I really thought it was 100,000 coins. The team around him looks like this. And uh, yeah, guys, it just looks like a pretty insane team. I'm just assuming this is going to be overpowered just because of the players we've got there. We've got Danny Welbeck up top. Easily the best cheap striker in the Barclays Premier League. Sterling and Lucas playing left wing and right wing. As you can see, Lucas with a 3-star weak foot, 4-star skills. The same goes for Sterling. Santi Cazorla playing the left of Ozil. And then Matuidi playing on the right. The defenders, we have got Matthew and Varane. The goalkeeper, we've got the regular Loris, not his upgraded version. At left back, we've got, in my opinion, the best left back on the game. He's just insane. I say it every time I use him. It's Jordi Alba. Absolutely incredible this year. Then at right back, we have got Aurier, who is just insane also. He is a very good player, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully this this team just plays well. Like, hopefully this team plays as good as it looks in games. It just looks amazing. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go jump in, play the three games, and then I'll be back with you guys with the highlights. So I'll be one second, guys, and I'll see you there. So guys, into the first game we went, and we came up against this team. I didn't know what to expect from it, but the guy was very good at FIFA. As you can see, I think that's in the 24th minute there. Um, Danny Welbeck just scores and he scores so many goals for me guys he is absolutely insane as you can see Danny Welbeck again just scores an absolute like that is just a beautiful shot and for a 79 rated I think he is he is like just the best striker in the BPL that I have used this year personally he is insane as you can see Matuidi took a shot there it got saved by the goalkeeper and Urzel was there for the rebound this game finished 3-2 so we went into the second game and we came up against this team easily one of the best teams I have faced this year is front three Royce Lewandowski and Douglas Costa was just like that is just insane I'm not sure of the goalkeeper but he was actually really good so I might have to try him out but this guy had already scored by the 42nd minute but we're getting there with Danny Welbeck who just places the ball in the top right hand corner he is an absolute gem guys Ozil there steps up for the penalty and obviously Ozil is going to put that away and uh, yeah this game was actually really difficult I was so determined to win as you can see Danny Welbeck yet again just gets in and scores an absolute like screamer there it was so close and he had so much power behind the ball he is just an absolute amazing player to use this year then Matuidi gets in scores an absolutely perfect goal there easily one of the best players best midfielders sorry that I have used this year and then we get Lucas there doing a nice little run Cuts his way into the box and scores straight into the top left hand corner. Nothing the keeper could do about that. And the game actually finished at 5-3 guys. So we come away with our second win out of two games. Then the third game, we came up against this team and I didn't know what to expect from it. Informed Troy Dini and uh, Remy up top, which are two very good strikers. But as you can see, Ozil scored an absolute screamer there. And then we got very lucky there to pick the ball up with Santi Cazorla. And he just finesses that straight into the top right hand corner. And this game actually finished 2-1, guys. As you can see, it was actually a very boring game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But that is three out of three wins for this team. So, guys, let's jump into the review. As you can see, this team costs... Wait, no. I've wrote that wrong, guys. The team actually costs 53,000. 
250 coins, not 35,000. Was it worth the coins? Yes, guys. Honestly, the best team we have built on Road to the Perfect Squad so far. It is an absolutely insane team. Will I use this team again? Yes, obviously. I'm going to try and take this team to Division 1. I'm in Division 4 at the minute. I've been having really bad seasons. And all the games we've seen was played on seasons. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and take this team to Division 1. Where, what does it say now? Should you go and buy this team? Yes, guys. I can't stress it enough. Most people will have 50,000 coins lying about at this time in FIFA. Pick up this team. It wins games. I'm not the greatest FIFA player, and it has been winning me games. So, honestly, guys, if there's one thing I could suggest to you, it is buy this team. At least try it out. And, honestly, guys, you won't regret it. It's an absolutely incredible team. The standout player for me was Welbeck, but I had to put Matuidi in there. Welbeck was the better of the two, but I always found Matuidi in the right place at the right time. He was always there when he was needed, and I've used him quite a lot, and I've never noticed him. But in this formation, I don't know. There was just something about him. If you guys use this team, you will notice it as well. He just stands out. He's an absolutely insane player, and he just fitted this team perfectly. The weakest player was honestly no one, guys. I've thought about it for like three hours now, and there was just no one who I found weak in the team. The weakest player, like, eh, it's got to be Aurier, but he wasn't weak. He was an absolutely amazing player, just not the most amazing. But he did what he was meant to do, and there was no one weak in the team. So I thought it would be disrespectful to pick a weakest player. And out of 10, guys, this team gets a 9. It is an absolutely insane team. As, you can, as I said before, the best team we have built on Road to the Perfect Squad. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of Episode 6. Definitely drop a like on this video. It would really help my channel out. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already. It takes two seconds out of your day and it would make my day. My goal is to hit 75 subscribers by August 26th. And you guys could help me get there. So definitely do that. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of episode six of Road to the Perfect Squad. Make sure you all have an absolutely amazing day, guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace.